Have you ever heard the story of the butler who inherited two apartments at the Dakota? Indra Tamang's story is a fascinating tale of an unlikely journey from a remote village in Nepal to inheriting apartments at the prestigious Dakota apartment building in New York City. His relationship with the artist Charles Henry Ford and his sister, actress and model Ruth Ford, forms the crux of this incredible narrative. Meet Indra Tamang. He was born in a small village in Nepal. He started his career working as a porter, carrying goods for tourists in the Himalayas. His life took a dramatic turn when he met Charles Henry Ford during one of Ford's trips to Nepal. Ford, an avant-garde artist, poet, and filmmaker, saw potential in Tamang and offered him a job as his personal assistant. Tamang accepted and moved to the United States. This is Charles Henry Ford. He was a prominent figure in the Surrealist movement and the avant-garde art scene. Born on February 10, 1908, in Hazelhurst, Mississippi, Ford became well-known for his experimental works and his influential magazine, View, which featured contributions from many key figures of the 20th century avant-garde, including André Breton, Salvador Dali, and Marcel Duchamp. Ford's work spanned various mediums, including poetry, photography, and film. His open homosexuality and flamboyant personality made him a distinctive figure in the art world. This is Ruth Ford. She was Charles's sister. She was born on July 7, 1911, also in Hazelhurst, Mississippi. She pursued a career in acting and modeling, becoming a notable figure in the New York social scene. Ruth appeared in several Broadway productions and films. Her charm and beauty made her a favorite among the elite circles of artists, writers, and actors. She married Zachary Scott, a Hollywood actor, and their marriage added to her prominence in the entertainment world. Ruth and her brother Charles both owned apartments in the Dakota apartment building, and Indra lived in Charles' apartment. After all, he became an important part of their lives, working as Charles' personal assistant and later as Ruth's caretaker. His dedication and hard work earned him the trust and affection of the Ford siblings. Ruth and Charles Ford led lives surrounded by fascinating and often famous people, but it seems that without each other, they would have indeed felt very lonely. As Charles noted once in his diary, you see, throughout most of their lives, they wrote to each other almost daily, even when they were on opposite sides of the world. They saved every letter they received from one another. Their lifetime of letters full of daily details and the diaries that Charles kept throughout his life would be enough to fill rooms. Every significant event and achievement in their lives was shared between them. Even during the times when they both lived at the Dakota, they often wrote to each other. I read a quote by lyricist and composer Stephen Sondheim from 1975 when he said, quote, If Ms. Ford had lived in another century, she would have been one of the great soloneers of all time. End quote. Interestingly, it was at her apartment where Sondheim, Arthur Lorenz, and Leonard Bernstein met, and where they together came up with the idea for West Side Story. After Charles's death in 2002, Ruth continued to rely on Tamang for support and assistance. When Ruth Ford passed away in 2009 at the age of 98, she left a significant portion of her estate, including the two Dakota apartments to Indra Tamang. This inheritance was a testament to the deep bond that had developed between Tamang and the Ford siblings over the years. It was an extraordinary turn of events for Tamang, who had started his journey in a small Nepali village and ended up owning prestigious real estate in one of New York City's most iconic buildings. Injured Tamang's story is one of dedication, loyalty, and the serendipitous nature of life. His rise from humble beginnings to inheriting wealth and property in New York City is a remarkable example of how personal connections and hard work can lead to unexpected opportunities. Charles and Ruth Ford, with their artistic legacies, played pivotal roles in shaping his extraordinary journey. As you can imagine, there was quite a bit of controversy after Ruth Ford's death in 2009. You see, her estate, valued at approximately $8.4 million, was largely inherited by her longtime butler, Indra Tamang. Ford's will bequeathed her two apartments in the Dakota building in New York City, along with most of her other possessions, including a ton of artwork, to Tamang, who had been her cook, butler, and caretaker for over three decades. Ford's daughter, Shelley Scott, and her grandchildren were disinherited, receiving only her clothing and costume jewelry. Shelley Scott did contest the will, but a settlement was eventually reached, and Scott expressed that she was very happy for Tamang. After inheriting Ruth Ford's Dakota apartments, Indra Tamang sold a larger apartment 
due to a substantial tax bill and the restrictive co-op board of the Dakota, which was unlikely to allow him to live there, simply because he did not have the income to pay for the monthly maintenance. The larger apartment initially listed for $7.5 million and eventually sold for around $4.5 million. Currently, Indra Tamang lives in his family home in Queens, New York, with his wife and daughters. He has chosen to keep the smaller apartment in the Dakota for now, and he continues to manage the proceeds from the sale of the larger apartment and the valuable art collection he inherited. Indra has also shared his remarkable life story in a book titled The Autobiography of Indra B. Tamang, My Curious Years with Charles Henry Ford. So, what do you think of the story of Indra Tamang? If you are rolling in dough, would you leave all of your earthly possessions to one of your friends instead of a member of your family? I bet many of you would. Kindly let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Kindly remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell because there will be more shows like this one and I hope you check those out too. Please check out the links below to learn how to support my research and productions. Specifically, I'd really appreciate it if you could become a member of my channel and or join me on Patreon. You could also leave a super thanks in the comments below. As you may know, I have written a bunch of books about the Dakota and other subjects. So if you're one of those people who buys books and would like to buy some, head on over to your favorite bookseller. Type up my name, Scott Cardinal, and the word Dakota, and my book should pop on up. So feel free to buy as many as you like. I'd really appreciate that. Please check out the links below to learn how to support my research and production specifically. I'd really appreciate it if you could become a member of my channel and or join me on Patreon. You could also leave a super thanks in the comments below. Please do yourself a favor and go to a local shelter and adopt a cat or a dog. You and they will be very glad that you did. Until next time, I wish you safe travels on all your journeys.